Today, we will talk about top 10 places to visit in Rotterdam. The second largest city in the Netherlands, Rotterdam lies on both banks of the New Maas, the tidal southern arm of the Rhine, where it's joined by the Little River Rock. It's also the world's largest port, home to the massive Europort facility, through which so much freight passes on its way to and from the continent. Although almost completely destroyed by German air attacks in 1940, central Rotterdam was energetically rebuilt after the war and replanned with modern shopping streets, residential districts, and high-rises. Today, it is one of the most modern and architecturally interesting places to visit in Europe. 10. Walk around the Old Harbor and Marine Museums Rotterdam's Old Harbor, Oudhaven, part of the city's revitalized maritime district, is a boat basin filled with restored historic boats, including houseboats, lived in by locals. In good weather, you can sit outside one of the many cafes and restaurants and enjoy people watching or stroll around and watch the boats being painted or repaired. Signs identify the ages of the boats and show pictures of this area in its heyday as a commercial port and shipyard. 9. Explore the art collections of Museum Boijmans van Buningen. Museum Boijmans van Buningen, one of the Netherlands and Europe's most important art centers, is known for its superb collections of paintings, sculptures, and applied and decorative arts from across the continent. Painters of the 14th to 16th centuries are particularly well represented, with works by Hubert and Jan van Eyck, Hieronymus Bosch, and Peter Bruegel the Elder. The 17th century is represented by Rembrandt and Rubens. 26 of the latter's works can be viewed, while later centuries are represented by Monet, Gauguin, and Van Gogh. Modern painters represented include Picasso, Matisse, and Chagall. 8. Discover World Cultures at World Museum World Museum Rotterdam, or World Museum, is another great museum to visit. Founded in 1883, this ethnographic museum features more than 1,800 different artifacts from across the globe. Most ancient and modern cultures are featured to some degree here, providing a fascinating look at the evolution of world cultures. The museum also holds related events and lectures throughout the year, including family-friendly activities, guided tours are available, a restaurant and shop are located on the premises. 7. Take a tour of Groot of St. Lawrencekirk. Great Street Lawrence Church, Groot of St. Lawrencekirk, is all that's left of Rotterdam's medieval buildings, most of which were destroyed during World War II. Located in Grootkirk Plain, the late Gothic church dates from the 15th century and was built on the once marshy ground, giving the building a peculiar lean that was only halted after its foundation was rebuilt in 1650. It was heavily damaged in bombings, but was fully restored at the end of the war. Upon entering the church, you'll be struck by the beauty of the bright interior, an effect heightened by the colored glass of its windows. The church is famous for its three Danish organs, the largest of which stands on a marble base on the inside wall of the tower. 6. Take a peek at the cube houses. Rotterdam is home to many fine examples of modern architecture, much of it inspired by the city's waterside setting, as well as a response to the devastation of World War II. Pushing the architectural envelope to the max are the city's famous cube houses, Cuba Swanian. Designed by Dutch architect Piet Blom, this block of houses, with their unique cube-shaped upper stories, are clearly visible from a walk through the old harbor. One of them, the show cube, is open to visitors and contains displays on the design and history of the buildings. An interesting museum dedicated to chess is also located here. 5. Get your design fix at Het New Institute. Those with an interest in architecture and building design should visit the Het New Institute, HNI. Translated literally as the New Institute, this modern museum focuses on the development of various architectural movements over the decades. There is, of course, a particular emphasis on Dutch styles, but other global design movements are also featured. Newer exhibits have been added that feature the feel of digital culture. In addition to its exhibits, visitors can visit Sonneval House, an example of a modernist architectural style dating from the 1920s that's located just across the street. 4. Enjoy International Cuisine at the Market Hall One of the most popular gathering points in Rotterdam is the impressive Market Hall Mark. 
a huge office complex that opened in 2014. Nicknamed Kukbu, or Shu, by locals, it's an architectural marvel, with the soaring arched ceiling of its food hall covered in larger-than-life murals of vegetables, fish, and other produce. Celebrating the fact the market itself is a kaleidoscope of fresh and prepared foods. 3. See the Kinderdick Windmills On the River Nord, just 23 kilometers east of Rotterdam, is the beautiful little village of Kinderdick, taking its name from a famous legend that describes a baby's cradle being stranded here during the Street Elizabeth's Day Flood of 1421. The name literally translates as the Children's Dyke. It's one of the most visited places in the Netherlands. Each of its 19 perfectly preserved 18th century windmills is designated as a World Heritage Site. 2. Wander through Koolsingel The centerpiece of Koolsingel, nicknamed the city's cool district and the main street of Rotterdam city center, is the Town Hall Staduus. Built between 1914 and 1920 in the Dutch Renaissance style, it miraculously escaped destruction in the bombing of the city during World War. While you can't visit the richly decorated interior on your own, guided tours are available and can be booked through the city's tourist office. Opposite the town hall, in the busy Stavus Blind, is a war memorial designed by Mary Andreessen. 1. Take a boat tour of the Europort. Rotterdam's massive port occupies half the city's total area of 247 square kilometers, much of it in turn occupied by Europort a huge complex known as the Gateway to Europe. In addition to countless large freight vessels, you'll see mile after mile of quays and storage facilities built to service the world's busiest port. One of the most popular sightseeing tours of the port area begins at Maeslankering near Hook van Holland, Book of Holland, and includes a close-up look at the city's massive surge barrier. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.